one am I ex wait what what are you looking at you're doing the same thing as everybody else you're all looking at something what it what is it oh I know what it is it's my sweater everybody always stares at my sweater Anyway, that's not the reason I'm here today. I'm so excited to talk to you about my iron farm and my villager trading hall, along with this neat looking hallway we're gonna build today. But before we get started, I do have a lot of catching up to do with all of you. So let's go inside and I'll show you what I've dug out so far. So as we first come in, all those shulker boxes, they're all full of this cobblestone that I dug out, which was really stone and I turned it into cobblestone because I used pickaxes that weren't silk touch. However, this big hallway goes all the way up here to a nice, big, large, open cave. And in this open cave, I'm planning on putting a bunch of farms. Way up there on the top where those torches are, are eventually going to be my home. That's going to have a tunnel that leads all the way up there. But if we head back down these stairs into this room here, this room is going to be the room where the village trading hall goes along with the iron farm. The room is a 37 by 37 room that is 13 blocks high. I used a whole bunch of pickaxes to dig through this. So let's stop running around here. Let's turn out the lights because the way to get this started is that we need two villagers. And in order to get the two villagers, I have to hunt down some zombie villagers. And to get these zombie villagers, I need them to spawn in. So to have them spawn in, we're going to shut the lights off. And we're going to use this as a type of mob farm that we can get some zombie villagers to spawn in. We could also use the cave that we were in. And finally, we wait for nighttime and run around outside and see if we can find any. So those are our three options. And now we're going to go find some zombie villagers. Let's go. Well, before I go hunting for some zombies, I decided to go spend some of my hard-earned diamonds. And doing so, I bought some netherite. So now I'm fully equipped with netherite armor to protect myself against these zombies that we have to go find. I finally got the purple look going. We finally make it to the shopping district and the first place that you see on the left here is where the netherite is. And of course, this is where I went ahead and purchased my first set of netherite gear. And it's really simple, you just come in, there's signs everywhere, it tells you how much a piece of netherite is. You go in there and you take your netherite that you need. And what's nice is that you don't have to carry your diamonds with you because there's ender chests here. And you just put all your diamonds in the ender chest and you can have everything you need to purchase. And of course, we'll check out more as the season progresses. But hey, big shout out to Salty. Thanks for the netherite. Enjoy your day. All right, we've got our first zombie villager. He is on our tail. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, there's an enderman. No, no, no enderman. Come on, you're... Oh, and a skeleton. Fantastic. It's getting more fun. And more fun as we go. Oh, stop hitting me. I don't want to have to kill you. No, I'm going to... Hey, hey, stop. Go away. Go. Oh, and a zombie. Go. Gone. No, stop. Out. Go, 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 go. Oh, stupid plant. Get out of the way. Okay, good. Oh, boy. No phantoms. Go, 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 go. Oh, should I, should I break down the door or should I just go in? I think I'll have enough time. Maybe I'll try to break it. No, I'm just going to run in. I'm going to run in. There we go. Go, go, go. Yes, he's through. Go. Up this way. Come on. Come on this way. Uh, we've got you. Now you're coming into the dark area. Yep. We just got to get through this doorway. Hopefully there's no mobs inside. Because I've had the lights out. Let's see. Okay, nothing inside. Good. And he's through the door. Let's go. Go, 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 go. So this is how you catch yourself a villager. You go ahead and get you one of these zombified villagers. You make them chase you to where an area that I have cleared out. I'll uh, straight ahead here. And if I sit back here, he'll eventually come in this little tunnel and come get me. I'll run through him. Not afraid. Ouch. Turn around, lay down a block. And I've got myself a zombie. Aha! Well, there's our first one. Now we have to go get our second one, but let's name him first. We're going to name him Buffalo. There you go, Buffalo. We have a Buffalo. Let's go find Joe. Come on, Joe. We got Joe. Come on, Joe. Hey, Joe. Joe's coming. Oh, oh you're not so bad, Joe. Oh, boy, Joe. Here he comes. Here he comes, Joe. Oh, no, there's another Joe and a witch. Uh, we're in trouble. Uh, let me see. What can we do here? We got to take out the witch first. Well, you know what? Let me get 
Joe in here. Come on, Joe. There you go. All right, Joe. You stay there. Let me go deal with this. Look at this. We have Buffalo and we're going to name you Joe. Now we have Joe Buffalo. Ah, <laughs> now we're going to go ahead and work in this hallway. I'll save the last little section and show you how I did it. All right, well, we're back and we are ready to show off our new design. And you can see in this hallway is pretty much a repetitive process all the way up. And we worked with a little bit of lava, some spruce, trap doors. We use deep slate and it really pushes it over the edges of the decorations. And of course, the patterns of the wood on the floor. A little light touch from our lanterns goes right up to the top of the hallway. We just keep it level with everything else. So we know that every one of these nice, strong wood beams are in front of a stair. And there's our stair. So we know that we, it's where we put our strong beam there. And we have a strong beam here. And that goes up five high. And then once you've got your five high, just it then goes straight across. And then I just took that spruce wood and I stripped it to give it more of a smooth look. And now your archway is completed. Next, I know I need to put a block here and I three spaces here and I put a block here. We put these three high and then we dig these three out and we put our block of choice in here. Next, I like to go ahead and replace all these nine blocks. So I get rid of these three, these three here, these three here, and then these three in the back. And then finally this one on top. So it looks like that one, it's completed. Next, we get our glass panes and we place them in just like this. And what that'll do is prevent the lava from flowing out. Now we can come in here and put our lava inside that block right there. And that'll flow right to the ground. Giving, wow, thunderstorm outside. Good thing we're in our little cave. But once the lava flows to the ground, it's held in place by the glass panes. I am going to go sleep this off. Because it sounds pretty nasty out there. Once you have that in place, you can throw some decorations. I'm using spruce leaves. And then what I also decorate with is some trap doors that are spruce. And then we just run a row of blocks straight across the top of this. Next, we go ahead right here and put our stairs in upside down. And that's the beginning of our rounded structure as you're going down the hallway. And then we go right and do the same thing on this side here. And then once you have your two layers of stairs on, I just go ahead and start putting my half slabs of spruce in just like that. And that'll run straight across. Then remove this. Fill it back in with some vine. Put some vines here. Place some vine there and there. And that'll grow by itself. As you can see, it's really starting to take over, which is pretty neat looking. And now the only piece we have left to do is the floor on here. And all we do is match the floor with the same pattern we have going on throughout the rest of the hallway. We still have the other half to do. Floor is completed. One addition I want to show you in the hallway is right over here. This is the area to the trading hall. And what I've done is I've set up a simple two by three door, but I wanted my glass to go up instead of out all four. So when you actually push this button two go to the left, two go to the right and two go up. It's a simple little redstone mechanic using some glass so I can shoot it up instead of torches. I know there's probably an easier way but I did really want my two pistons to come from the top instead of the side. All right, we're gonna go get started on the trading hall and iron farm. Okay, one thing I thought I would do before I head and start on my iron farm and trading hall is that I'd head over here to the nether and find Rocket's mailbox. Because in Rocket's last video, he said that if we watched to the end to take a poisonous potato and to stick it into his mailbox. So, at the time I didn't have one. Now I have one. So I'm going to find his mailbox, which I think is over here somewhere. Um, yes, there it is. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my poisonous potato, what did I named Joe Buffalo, 
Right in there for Mr. Rocket. Enjoy your poisonous potato, my friend. So the first thing that I do is I cure my zombie villagers. And I've already given them the weakness potion and the apple, the golden apple. So you can see that Buffalo is already cured and so is Joe now. And after this part, we're going to go ahead and release them. And we got to go put in 40 beds because I want to have 40 villagers. So let me go do that next. And here we go, putting our last couple beds in. Get all 40 beds put together. And then we take down all these temporary blocks once all the beds are completed. Now we're going to go get some food so we can give our two villagers a whole bunch of food so they can start breeding. And we have all 40 villagers here. All right, there's Joe. He got a lot of food. Buffalo's got a lot of food. We're now going to get our third villager. And there we have it. We have our third villager all ready to go get the next 37. And that's pretty much it. They're just going to run around here and I'll keep feeding them. And we'll keep getting a whole bunch more of baby villagers. Okay. Hear that sound? That's the sound of iron golems getting disintegrated by lava. And then they float down into my little chamber there and I pick up the iron and the poppies. But I got all my villagers in place. They all grew up. They all have their professions. And you can see the iron flowing down from the top. It's a successful iron farm. And now we got to go catch ourselves a zombie. So we can start getting these villagers bit. And they give us a better discount. So let's go get ourselves a zombie. And here we go. We got our zombie following us. Our new guy named Craig. Soon to be. Come on, Craig. Let's move it. There he comes. He get through the door? Yeah, he's stuck there now. Hello. Hey, come on. This way. This way, my friend. That's why I put that wall there. Hey. You coming? There we go. Get a little incentive. Here he comes. Here he comes now. Come on, Craig. Into the little box you go. There you go. I'm going to shut you off. And we're going to name you Craig. There we go. Got ourselves a Craig. Right. So Craig's ready to go into his new home. He's going to be the zombie that infects all the villagers. So let's turn him on. See over there. And there he is. Home, safe, can't bother me no more. And his little cubby. Alright, so the tour of the new hall, almost completed. 90% done. We got to get the picture frames filled in. But yeah, here they are. All 40 villagers. A central area where the iron falls and is picked up in the authorized personnel only back section. And everybody's got their trades in place. We've marked what some of the important items are. What I feel, in my opinion, are the important items I need for the game. And we can go through our librarians over here. We seem to be the most important ones. We get Depth Strider 3, Unbreaking 3, Looting 3, Silk Touch, Mending. Respiration 3, Efficiency 5, Fortune 3, Aquafinity in 1, Fire Aspect 2, Protection 4, Sharpness 5, Infinity, and Flame. That's all of our librarians. Now they're at a high price, 24 pieces of paper or 24 emeralds, so we're going to get them bit. But my strategic way to bite people and to way to bite the villagers in this is, one, we want to start getting emeralds, so we're going to... Probably go after someone who gives us iron first and fast. So somebody over here in the situation like this, where the weaponsmith has, you know, iron that he can give us. And we can go after the weaponsmiths first. Um, another one to go after first is apples. We need apples to cure the zombie villagers. 
So we go after this villager here who has apples at four. So we get him bit a few times and potatoes. We've already locked that trade in. So we'll go ahead and get him bit first so that we can get apples because that's the easiest way to get apples outside of cutting down some oak trees. Then once I have enough apples, I will go then proceed to get some iron so that I can get emeralds. After one of the weaponsmiths starts to get down to one iron or emerald trade, we'll go ahead and work on all of our librarians at that point because we'll be having emeralds come in very quickly. I want to show you the one way we got to go get this guy bit now. The last time I built an iron farm, you were able to just run the zombie underneath here to get them to bite the villager. However, this time we have to be on the same plane as them. So we're going to have to raise it up a little to come in this way so we're gonna go after this nice volunteer first here to have him bit for the first time go craig get him this time pay attention there we go and we have a zombie villager yes back to your home shut the door thank you very much i hope you enjoyed your lunch craig Ready? Three, two, one. All right. Are you infected? And he got his apple. He feels better. I actually got a little bit of that weakness on me. So now we just wait it out for a little bit. All right, we have it. There's the farmer. Let's see what he has now. Oh, he went down to 20. The apples stayed the same, but we do have one pumpkin for an emerald. So that's a pretty good deal. We get our pumpkin and melon farm going. You see everything is down to one here. And here is the rates so far after uh, we got the iron farm started. This is what we've got in iron so far, which it just keeps trickling in. And I know it doesn't look like a lot of poppies, but I put this up here because this is going to be a gift for somebody who sells poppies. That looks like we've got a successful iron farm, a successful village breeding, and a successful village trading hall. Well, that wraps up today's video. I hope everybody had a great day. I hope everybody learned a lot about trading halls and how to build hallways or tunnels. I hope everybody learned how you can catch zombies in the wild and make them into villagers. Go ahead and hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.